Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Monday's card, October 16th, 2023. It did not go well for me this weekend in football. We'll start with that, and then I'll get to tonight's Monday Night Football free play. Uh, but uh, that three-week Sunday sweep in the NFL took a hit yesterday. I lost, including the six-star on the New England Patriots. We saw how that one ended. If you didn't, uh, just check it out if you can stomach it with uh, Matt Jones taking the safety under two minutes to go, and we lose against the spread on that safety. That's about as bad of a beat as it gets, but uh, overall, Sunday and Saturday combined, uh, we ended up with all sports, uh, three and three on Sunday, two, two, and one on Saturday. So we did lose money, by the way. I got to tell you, we did lose money because I lost the uh, top play on Saturday with Air Force, the top play on Sunday with the Patriots. We did win in baseball. We're now 5-0, and oh, my last five playoff releases in Major League Baseball. We had the under last night, nice easy win uh, between the Rangers and the Astros. And in fact, in baseball now, going back about 19 days, calendar days, uh, we are sitting at 75% winners in baseball, up over 2300 bucks, as you can see on the scroll at the bottom of your page there. Uh, NHL, one and one so far this season. I do have a play in Monday's NHL. I've got a play in Monday's Major League Baseball. Also, I, I'm not involved uh, as far as a premium play with Monday Night Football side or total. do have the side coming up on this report, uh, but I do have a prop from Monday Night Football between the Cowboys and Chargers. Uh, my props so far this season have hit 67% against the spread in the NFL, so we'll look to stay hot there. But, you know, our first bad weekend in a while when it comes to college and pro football, uh, including 1-1-1. One, one, and one. I didn't mention that on Saturday in college football with that top play on Air Force uh, going down, down to defeat. Overall, though, now 24-12 and 12 is the college football NFL run, 67% uh, going back to September 11th. So we'll look to uh, right the ship. Uh, later this week with plays being released in football on Thursday. And I'll tell you more about that as we get closer to Thursday's card. I've already done about 70% of my handicapping, and I do have a big play release going this weekend in football. And again, we'll tell you more about it as we get closer to Thursday's release date. Let's get to tonight's Monday Night Football, the Cowboys in L.A., SoFi Stadium to battle the Chargers. And right now the Cowboys number has dropped from two and a half a couple of days ago down to one and a half. I did see one, two out there. I've got about... 20, 25 books on my screen and my line service in front of me, uh, but down to one and a half in most spots. And I do happen to agree with that. Joe's and pros kind of agreeing on this one. A little more than half the tickets are on the uh, Chargers. As far as the tickets are concerned, the money, a little bit more than half on the Chargers also. And, and I think it's going to go that way. I like the Chargers here. I know they have their share of injuries and stuff like that, but they're getting some guys back. You know, Kellen Moore, the former Dallas assistant, very good assistant, very good offensive coordinator, is turning this Charger offense into what he wants. It does fit his quarterback, Justin Herbert, better than what Herbert had before. And also, uh, Eckler is back this week. And the one thing about Eckler is he helped them out so much on third and short. And they've had some struggles when it comes to picking up first downs on third and short yardage. Well, they got Eckler back now in the backfield, and I think that'll help improve that situation. As far as Dallas, you know, you look at the injury to Trayvon Diggs and what this defense has done since then. How about allowing 24 points per game since Diggs got injured, 358 yards per game, 67% completion rate, and their opponents, a 104.6 passer rating, all happening since Trayvon Diggs' injury. And, of course, if you've followed a lot of sports media, then you're going to already know that teams have not fared well the week after playing San Francisco over the past couple of years. And, and I think that uh, the Chargers are going to continue that particular angle or trend, I guess you could call it. So we're going to back the Chargers. They're getting about a point and a half here on Monday night. The Chargers who are free play. Again, if you want to jump on board, I've got baseball, NHL, and a Monday night football premium play all available on my homepage, at DocSports.com. All right, uh, let's get right back on track. If you like the videos, click on that link below the video. Also, uh, be sure to subscribe so you'll get all of our Doc Sports uh, videos and never miss one. All right, Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column, and I'll be right back here late Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning with my next report.